Böse. I show you it's been marked as a good number 11 um, uh, in this case, sir. Do you recognize that document? Yes, sir. And that is the application for employment that Mr. Flush uh, submitted to this agency in 2006. Yes, sir. And the document that you're reading from outlining his disclosure, his arrest, is about. Is about three quarters of the way through the document. Would that be fair to say, sir? Okay. Now, um, now, uh, the military actions that you read off, um, there was no conviction or criminal trial, trial involved in any of those instances, was there? No. That was just military and post discipline, correct? Right. Now, um, so at the time, that you hired, you made a decision to hire Mr. Flash. You were fully aware of his, his history of arrests and of bad behavior in the, in the Marine Corps. Yes, it was. Okay. In reviewing his file, did you also happen upon a, a Mr. Flash's uh, DD-214 at the time that you were considering whether or not to uh, terminate his appointment? Before the okay. Let me... Um, decision to hire uh, Mr. Flush despite your knowledge of these previous instances based upon recommendations made by others. Yes, sir. Okay. But you own that decision. All right, Lord. Okay. And um, uh, Mr. Flush wasn't brought onto the agency with any strings attached. That if he, no, he offended just once or stepped out of the line just one time, he would be fired, was it? Yes, sir. He was subject to the same rules applicable to all deputies, correct? Yes, sir. The merit system rules? Yes, sir. Very same rules. No yes, special conditions placed on him. All right, now, um, so when Mr. Flesh brought up this PT, PTSD issue, you didn't ask him uh, how he got PTSD. No, no, sir. You didn't ask him what events led him to feel that way. No, sir. You didn't ask him what his symptoms were. No, sir. You didn't ask him about uh, who, if anybody at the VA had diagnosed him with that, did you? No, sir. Um, you didn't ask him uh, uh, what treatment he was receiving, did you? No, I didn't. You didn't ask him if he was taking any medications. No, sir. You didn't ask him about the prognosis. No, sir. You didn't care, did you? I wouldn't say it wasn't. I didn't care by any means. Okay. Well, it wasn't on your radar as an employer. No, it, this was, um, his past was, has started to surface once again, which I'd hoped when we hired him that it would not. So, it, it, would it be fair to say, sir, that his past, the past that he brought with him to the Sheriff's Department, uh, the events that occurred during the, the arrest during the 90s, culminating the arrest in 2000, and that his uh, misadventures, if you will call it that, uh, during the Marines uh, uh, were a factor in leading you to terminate his employment. No, sir. Anybody who had done the same thing that Scott Fleisch had done that day would have gotten the same treatment no matter what their background had been. And 
anybody who had been involved in the instance he did at Daytona 